TNT from Bristol Motor Speedway with about 100,000 of our closest friends watching the NASCAR Busch Series run 250 laps tonight. We're getting set to go back racing after a four-car accident at the end of lap one has slowed the proceedings in the early going. All righty. This time it's a single file restart. And Johnny Sauter, the 27 car, is on pit road, having to obey pit road speed, and the cars are back up to speed. Tony Raines all over Earnhardt up front. Then we got QX working on the two car. Hornaday. That's a great shot. That's for 12 and 13 spots. Got a little contact there. Yeah, we already got some damage to the left rear of the two car. Well, someone is banging the back of him. We got him on board with Mark Truex Jr. And I'm telling you, in the spring when they raced here, this eight car was unbelievable. How hooked up he was. I'm just Whoa. oh. I'm just shocked that he's back in 13th position. That's a little bit of the bump and rub. Change for second, Kevin Harvick went by Kenny Wallace on the restart for third, just went by Tony Raines for second, 21 car on the move. And Kevin gets around this place good, he really likes this racetrack, so he is going to be tough tonight. Three-time Bristol Busch Series winner, Kevin Harvick, that's three out of nine races. Did I mention that he's won here three times? Dave, can you add on the 21? Absolutely. Kevin was very confident when I talked to him before the race, even before the interview. I talked to his crew chief, Ricky Byers, and they just felt like this car, which ran so well here in the spring, was equally as good this time. Remember, he finished second here in the spring after starting fifth, so they are high on the car, and as you mentioned, always high on Kevin Harvick here at Bristol. And with good reason. Yeah, he's, he's, he's up that lead. Did you know that? I did. <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> Lap traffic, Tina Gordon involved in that first crash in 39, being overtaken by some of the front runners. And I tell you what, these guys on the outside going by, you really tiptoe by a car when they're on the inside in that inside groove. Because the field was sprung out for the single file restart so early in the race, the leader's going to catch the tail end of the field in a huge hurry. So some of these guys at the end of the line have got to go. And that leader may be Harvest by the time they get there. Man, how fast a 21 car. He, last time by was 1,500 to the second faster than they are. He is now at Earnhardt Kitchen. Really, this is the race. Just give him the room and go because if he doesn't, Tony Reigns and Kenny Wallace are going to be right on their back bumper. For the race lead, Harvick in the 21, Earnhardt Jr. in the 81. There is your uh, wave by, you think? Probably. I mean, that's just a smart thing to do, because if you start racing each other, especially in traffic, you're going to lose time to the guys behind you. Marty, something wrong with the 81 car? Of course not, BP. I think they're just being patient. That's kind of the theme down here for the chance to race teams. They were the fastest car in half the hour, but Junior told me before the race, the best thing about the car, very consistent on the longer run, so I think he knew Harvick was faster. Let him go, or probably hopefully is. Back later. Well, we'll see. There's that word you guys used earlier. Patience. So Kevin Harvick, the second leader of the race. Earnhardt Jr. now second. Tony Raines third. Kenny Wallace fourth. David Green fifth. Followed by Casey Kane, Jamie McMurray, Greg Biffle, David Strimmey, and Kyle Bush, who is back to the number 10 position. There's David Green. And uh, this is the race for fifth place as Casey Kane tries to close in on him. Been a tough season on David in this 37. They've had some engine problems on a number of occasions this year. I talked with David about that. He said it's just really held our program back this year. Case in point, they came here to Bristol to test a couple of weeks ago. And you're only allowed so many tests by NASCAR. You literally have to get a pass from NASCAR to come test. So they got their pass for their one-day test and showed up here and had an engine problem early in the morning, so only got about 20 laps of running in. And that was the engine they had with them. They didn't think they needed a spare for a one-day test, so they had to load up and go home and wasted that test. You see where Kenny Walsh was able to get by Tony Reigns, take over that third spot. 
Matt, 23 looking pretty good right now. BP, he's on the move. He has a one in 59 push series start. Trying to get some good luck going this year. Now he came on the radio and told his sister Chris Rice that the front end is bottoming out. He goes, we know we can see the sparks, but you are turning the best lap times of anybody in the top five. He is slowly working his way to the front, chasing down Harvick. Oh, boy, what a mess. And we got the eight car, the points leader, in the outside of Virginia, all along with Greg Bipple. You and I were both watching that. We <laughs> know what happened to, there. I was trying to get the cameras over there because it was like, it's going to happen. This was a case of Greg Bipple tangling with a lap car and then Greg Bipple trying to retaliate on the lap car. And when that happened... Is that a loss of patience, maybe? Uh, possibly. At least that's my opinion. What do you think? Am I, uh, am I close? No, I mean, that's what happens. And, and especially here, when... When you're a driver and you're racing other cars and you come up on another car that's running a lot slower, let's take a look at it. Right, this is off of turn four. Now, 39 cars left oh, side wheels are wow. down on the yellow line. Wow. Man, Biffle did a good job. Saving that, saving it there. That's on the front stretch. And that's on turn two a half a lap later. Okay, so he retaliates and it costs him and it may have cost cost uh, Mark Truex. So that's the problem with, you know, doing that. That's what she could have done on that. I mean, on board Mark Truex. Hmm. That was just losing the patience. That's all it was. Truex Jr., the championship leader with some damage in the second caution flag here at Bristol. You're watching NASCAR on TNT.